Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we have one very interesting and challenging question from algebra. Here we have two known equations a, b, c, d equal to 1 and a plus 1 over a plus b plus 1 over b plus c plus 1 over c plus d plus 1 over d equal to 0. Given that a, b, c, d are real numbers, then we have to prove that at least one of the numbers among a, b, a, c, a, d equals to negative 1. So let's get started with our substitutions. I will consider our first substitution AB equal to x square. Then we have AC. So we will put AC equal to y square. Then we have AD. We will consider AD equal to z square. Now we are going to multiply these three equations. Let's multiply AB times AC times AD. This will be equal to x square times y square times z square. Or we can write a cube times bcd equal to xyz whole square. Now we can write a cube as a square times a. Then we have times bcd equal to xyz whole a square. Now ABCD is equal to 1. So here we are going to put 1. So we will get A square is equal to XYZ whole square. Now from our first substitution equation, if we will find value of B, we can get easily X square over A. From second equation, we will write c is equal to y square over a. From third equation, we will get value of d equal to z square over a. And a square is x, y, z whole square. Now we will take square root both sides. Square root. Square root. Square root and square will be over but we will consider plus minus sign. So we can write a equal to plus minus x, y, z. Now value of b will be x square over a. So I can write x square over plus minus x, y, z. One x will be cancelled out from numerator and denominator, we will get plus minus x over yz. This is the value of b. Now we will calculate c, y square over a. Value will be y square over plus minus x, y, z. This time we will cancel y from numerator, denominator and we can write plus minus y over zx. Let's find the value of d, which will be equal to z square over a. We will write z square over plus minus x, y, z. One z will be cancelled out from numerator denominator. We will get d equal to plus minus z over x, y. Now we have A in terms of X, Y, Z, B in terms of X, Y, Z, C in terms of X, Y, Z and D in terms of X, Y, Z here. We are going to plug in all the values in our second equation A plus 1 over A plus B plus 1 over B. Let's plug in. We will write A plus 1 over A plus B plus 1 over B plus C plus 1 over C plus D plus 1 over D equal to 0. Now A was plus minus X, Y, Z. I will take plus minus common out. So in bracket I will write X, Y, Z. 1 over A would be 1 over X, Y, Z. B, we will write X over Y, Z. 
so 1 over b will be yz over x c y over zx so 1 over c will be zx over y d z over xy so 1 over d will be xy over z equal to 0. Now we will put this bracket equal to 0. So I will rearrange the terms. I will write x, y, z. Then we will write last term x, y over z. Then we will write second term 1 over x, y, z. Then we will write second last term z over x, y. Then we will write third term from the beginning x over y, z. Then third last term zx over y. Then we will write fourth term yz over x. Then we will write y over zx equal to 0. Now from these two terms, we will take xy common. So in the bracket, we will get z plus 1 over z. From these two terms, we will take 1 over xy common. So we will write here 1 over xy common in the bracket 1 over z plus z, which I am writing z plus 1 over z. Now from these two terms, we can take x over y common out. So we will get in the bracket z plus 1 over z or 1 over z plus z. So I am writing here z plus 1 over z. From last two terms, if we will take y over x common out, so we are going to get z plus 1 over z equal to 0. Now z plus 1 over z is overall common. So in other bracket, we will write xy plus 1 over xy plus x over y plus y over x equal to 0. Now we are going to club these two and these two. So from first and third, I will take x common. Let me write here. Let me write the equation. Here it is. Now we will write x y first, then x over y. Then we will write 1 over x, y. Then we have y over x equal to 0. So we will write z plus 1 over z times from these two terms, can we take x common? So in the bracket, we will be getting y plus 1 over y. From these two terms, if we will take 1 over x common out, in the bracket, we will write 1 over y plus y or y plus 1 over y equal to 0. Now from this bracket, y plus 1 over y is common. So finally, we will get x plus 1 over x times y plus 1 over y times z plus 1 over z equal to 0. Now we will use product zero rule. So we can say either x plus 1 over x equal to 0 or y plus 1 over y equal to 0 or z plus 1 over z equal to 0 or all of the three equations holds true. So we will write x square plus 1 equal to 0 x cannot be 0. Second equation would be y square plus 1 equal to 0. After taking LCM, y cannot be 0. Third equation would be z square plus 1 equal to 0. Considering here, z cannot be 0. So, x square is equal to negative 1. y square is equal to negative 1 
z square is equal to negative 1 and x square was ab. So either ab should be negative 1 or y square was ac. ac should be negative 1 or z square was ad. ad should be negative 1. So either of the three values ab, ac, ad equals negative 1. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.